What up, what up, Wimbush here. And with the Unreal Engine motion design tools, we can easily take our vectors from 2D to 3D, all within Unreal Engine. Let me show you how. So with Unreal Engine open right now, I have my SVG logo, that's my vector. You're gonna click and drag this into your content browser. So this is important, it has to be SVG. It can't take AI files right now. And then the next step from here, we're gonna come over on the left-hand side, we're gonna come under actors, and we're gonna find a button that says SVG. So we're gonna double click on this and just give it a moment. And then we're gonna see SVG right in the middle of our viewport. Now, inside of our motion design outliner on the right hand side, we're gonna left click on this. Let me drag up my details panel because right here where it says SVG data, we could take the SVG file that we just brought in, which is our vector logo. We're gonna click and drag it right into here. And now you see we have our vector logo right inside our Unreal Engine. Now the proper way to scale it up is right here under scale. We're just gonna bring this up a tad bit, maybe about there. So let's go to even 15. And then we can always extrude this out even more as well. So right here where it says fill extrude, I'm just gonna extrude it out. And let me actually eject ourselves from this camera so we can see it from the side. So now you can see that we have an extruded logo inside of here. And if we want, we could come over here where it says rendering. We could turn SVG is unlit. We're gonna turn this off. And that's gonna make sure that our lights are now affecting it. And then if we come down here to where it says cast shadows, we click this on. Now you can see we have a shadow on the background. Now the bevels inside of Unreal Engine aren't the best, but we can get some tiny bevel in there if you wanted to round off the corners. So right here where it says bevel distance, we can move this up just a tad bit. You don't wanna go too crazy with it because you can see right here, if we look inside of the R, how it's starting to get crunched up a little bit. And right there on the edge, that's getting crunched up. So you do wanna have it maybe ever so slightly, like 0.03, somewhere around there, just to add a little bit of bubble in there. But again, if you wanna get nice crisp bubbles, you might wanna use something like Cinema 4D or Blender. Now, somebody did have a question in my old tutorial asking if there's a way that you could turn this into a mesh, and there actually is a way that I figured out. So back over here, instead of our details panel, right here where it says SVG, we're gonna hit Bake the Blueprint. If you click on this, give us a second to bake out, and then you'll notice down here inside the content browser, we do have a folder now for our baked logo. So if I double click on this inside of asset, if you double click on this, now you can see that each separate piece is now its own static mesh. So if you wanted to get a static mesh all by itself for whatever reason, that's the way you do it. But if you look in here inside of our folder, it also brought it up as a blueprint. So if I click this, drag it into here, now we have our static mesh as a blueprint where everything brought together right here inside of our viewport. Now let's say you didn't wanna have it as a static mesh, but you still wanted to separate the pieces and keep it as a vector file. You can still do that as well. So right here where I have my SVG actor, I'm gonna click on this again, and then I'm gonna come down here to my details panel. And right here under SVG, you should see this button that says split. So once I hit split, you're gonna notice that it's gonna separate it. We're not gonna see the face right now. We can fix that in a moment. But if we come back here to our outliner and we turn this down, now you can see that each individual piece was separated out. Now it's flashing like that because we have to add our own material to it at this point. So if I come here inside of my content browser, right click, come up here to material, and I'm just gonna leave it at default right now. I'm gonna open it. And then right here inside of my details panel, where it says two-sided, I'm gonna click this on and maybe let's go with white. So I'm just gonna make this white, hit save. So let me find one of these layers here. So right here at the bottom one, this one has the white texture. So if I left click and drag it onto here, now you can see that it filled it in. So the whole tip with that one is, if you do it this way, you're gonna have to go through and redo your materials, make sure to double side it, and that way you can see both faces. Now I put this tutorial together because somebody had that question about turning it into a mesh, but I figured with 5.6, I'll walk through all the steps again in case somebody didn't see that past tutorial. So if this helped you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon, take care.